Here we have a Kevo high speed handpiece. It's very important that this handpiece is cared and maintained for properly to ensure that it lasts a long number of years. The first thing to bear in mind when handling the handpiece is that you don't drop it. If this is dropped, not only can you uh, break the very fragile optic rod in here, you could also damage the head. If the head is dented, sometimes it can be beyond repair and that's the handpiece uh, worthless basically. So what about maintaining this? Well, to ensure the longevity of the handpiece, we need to um, make sure that it's oiled correctly. Now, firstly, obviously, you need to have the correct PPE on, such as uh, gloves and a mask. We then take a, a good quality lubricant oil, and you want to make sure you've got the correct nozzle. So this nozzle is for a uh, cable handpiece, and you need to make sure that the little O-rings on here are not um, frayed or perished. So, take the oil and shake it vigorously. What that will do is mix the propellant gas and oil inside here. If we didn't do that, we would get the propellant gas out first and that causes contamination issues. So we then apply the handpiece like so. Take a clean paper towel and just apply your finger to the end of it here. Now the can should be on a level surface here as well, again to stop the propellant gas being emitted first. So keep your finger under the end of the handpiece just in case it may blow off. And I'm going to show you that the oil should be exiting from the back cap here. Now normally you would have it covered in like so to stop um, aerosols being released. So you should see that oil has been emitted from the back cap and it should also be coming out at the burr. Remove the handpiece and wipe off any excess oil. Now, if the oil in the cloth is any way dirty, you need to be repeating that procedure until what's coming out of there is clean. That's why you need to um, oil it for four to six seconds to ensure that enough pressure is built up inside the handpiece to emit any of that dirt or debris. Then another good little tip is to take a fine pointed nozzle on the can. This will apply oil into the chuck. So give that one or two sprays and what that will do is uh, oil the chucking mechanism within uh, the spindle of the cartridge. Again, clean off the excess oil. And it's a good idea after that to run the handpiece up to um, get rid of any excess oil that's contained within the handpiece itself. And that's basically it. Other than that, uh, whenever you are processing uh, the instruments in an autoclave, try and keep them in separate packs. If they go in a couple of handpieces within one pack, you'll find that um, the body shells tend to get scratched and damaged. So it's a good idea to keep them separate. And that's how simple it is to maintain a cable handpiece.